Welcome to the succulent home. And in this type of environment, we just got to have faith. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you what my husband's been doing while I've been pot potting my succulents. Look what he's been doing. He has potted up some of our sagos. And he has one over there. So three right here, but he has taken them off of the sagos that we have right there. Yes, that's what he's been doing. He's been busy doing that. I have moved these out so the rain can hit them and these bunny ears right here too. Let me know, please let me know, is this an insect, a bug of some sort that's doing that? I did drop this and as you could tell, like one in the back, that one right there broke off but i see that even right here it got damaged so is do you think this is damaged or there's a bug somewhere on there that i need to treat let me know okay i need to water this but i'm not gonna water it right now because we've been getting rain so the lavender is blooming in the green is okay on that we're just gonna do a little tour okay this is doing good Doing good, doing good. I don't know why they look like this. I don't know why it looks like this. It just doesn't look as luscious. Like as far as like the green, you know? I don't know, I don't know guys. Don't know. So, that looks okay. This is the berry garden that Nevea and I did. Everything looks gorgeous and okay. Looks okay. It's training pretty well. Everything looks okay in here. So, I'm not going to mess with that. Let's go over to this area over here. Oh, how you doing, Birds of Paradise? You are just a beautiful girl, aren't you? Yes. Oh, hi, frogs. What's up? What you doing? Chilling? Okay. This. Hmm. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. So I got some new blooms here. One there, one in here and another one on this side. I need to spray this. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see those little spots? Don't know why those spots are on there. But I got a lot of new blooms and we can't have them growing damaged. Not good. This has spots in here too. Ooh, I need to spray this. This is all infected with something. Even my birds, of, I mean, even my, um, look at my fire sticks. They don't look good at all. Nope. 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 I might have to redo this whole thing. Let me touch it. For just having rain, it's not like completely soaked. Oh my gosh. What should I do? Should I rip it out? Okay, let's touch this one. This is my asparagus fern. Honestly, guys, that's completely dry, too. Hmm. That is completely dried. Hmm. If it doesn't rain tonight, if it doesn't rain tonight, then I am going to redo this. So if it doesn't rain tonight, then I have to redo that. I have to just water them. But I'm not gonna water them if, if there is gonna be some rain. So I'm not gonna do that. Here goes this one. It's the same complaint as I had last time. Obviously there's some Millie bug issues that I haven't addressed that I better do that. Oh shoot, I just broke that that I need to address before it's too late. 
these are getting some blooms. Look at how pretty. These are stressed out. That's why they're this color. I need to spray this. I need to treat this. Oh, I say it all the time, but you know. I've been paying attention to the front yard, but I haven't been paying attention back here. It's too much yard, guys. Just too much yard. This looks like it's gotten a little sunburned, and it's because the sun has probably been hitting it. need to put it in a spot where it's not going to get too much sun, but just enough. Let me just put it right here for right now. Uh, okay, I don't want to move too fast <sighs> to make you guys sick. Okay, those were almost shot. This is all new, like, kind of growth going on. Definitely sprouted, but as you can see, it was drying out. I did neglect them, and I forgot all about to water them. This one. <laughs> Not so great, guys. Oh, my gosh. Millie. Look at that. I'm going to place her right here. Not great. Not great. Okay, and then this one, too, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put up there. Yeah. I'm just gonna, that um, is a, oh my gosh, what is that? That is my, oh, I keep on forgetting, but it was gifted to me and I'm trying to take care of it. And I'm just, it's been the first time. You see this? This is a trailing rose. I saved it from Lowe's, um, from the Lowe's, um, discount spot and the other one because I got two of them this one's completely dead it was unsavable that's okay I'm gonna probably cut the stem off of that side and I'll let you see me it is a hot mess over here winter has really kicked my little section to pot it kicked its butt and it's not inspiring. <laughs> Over here, these have gone not that great. I need to revamp this. This was a gift from my brother. I got to revamp that. This jade is doing good, and so is this little baby chola. These, <laughs> yeah, no, it just, ew. You see those Millie bugs? No. This. I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I, I really don't. All of these right here were plants from the succulent box, but as you can see, it's just, yeah, it's not, they're not doing that great. My jade over here, I don't know what happened right here. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Okay, so, oh, I see a spider right in here. Do you see, oh, shoot, do you see that spider? Please don't cut me. I mean, please don't. I think that's a spider. Is that a spider? Oh, hold on. Does that look like a spider? Or is that an insect? If it's a spider, I'll keep it because spiders get rid of insects. Is it a spider? Is it a spider, guys? Let me see. Is it a spider? Yeah, I think it's a spider. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on there. This is doing really well. I'm probably gonna have to shade it because this is that one that my parents always had in the shade. And when it acclimated to this spot, when summer, cause this gets the hottest sun of the day, it fried a lot of the leaves. So, I don't want that to happen. See, this is some leftover of last summer. And I don't want that to happen again. So, I'm going to have to shade it most. Oh, I was trying to just cut the leaf off. And I know I didn't. All I wanted was that leaf.
leaf right there. This whole baby came off. Ah, not cool, Melissa. Not cool. Ah, well, let's hope this doesn't get rot from rain right now. It is raining out here. I'm trying to clean off some of these. I love how some of the reds are, um, the tips are red on the jade. Okay, I'm gonna have to come out here too and spray and treat it because do you see this? Yeah, that's not good. No bueno, no bueno. Well, that's a little update. God is good, isn't he? But that's a little. Okay, so now that was the little tour of outside. Now I'm gonna go and a lot of the little pubs, well, you know, like the new growth from the little leaves that you propagate. I'm going to redo this va this pot that I have so that way I can freshen it up and utilize these before they're like goners. Okay, if you look closely, you could see all these little like rosettes that have started to come out. I know, I accidentally like this fell a couple times and the, let's just say the ones that have survived is because they are survivors. <laughs> Not because I did anything intentional to keep them surviving. And I'm going to cut the top of this off. I'm going to add new soil. And I'm going to place all those little babies on the top of this. Yes. So I'm going to do that. Look what I also got. I bought this because... I needed one of these because it looks so handy and dandy when I see you guys use it. And in order to treat all of my Millie bugs and keep up on all of like my treatment, then I need this because it's just going to be so much more easier. So while I'm doing that, like I told you, I'm also going to do this and that. <laughs> So let me know if this works for you. It just, is it convenient? It seems like it's convenient. So this is the combination I'm going to, to use in the new little spray thing I got. So it's two tablespoons. It's actually one ounce to every gallon of water. So I'm, this is a two gallon and I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this whole thing. So. I'm going, instead of two tablespoons, since I'm doubling it, I'm gonna do four tablespoons of this stuff. And I already sh um, gave it a good shake. Ooh. And that's what you wanna do. You wanna shake it really good because it separates. I don't know what's in there, but it separates. And it also is natural. It won't kill the bees. That's good. If you guys didn't know, my name means honeybee. So I love the bees, but this stuff stinks. It's just like nasty. Okay, so now you just fill it up with water. I'm just gonna rinse this little thing off in it. You just fill it up with water and this should be good to go. So hopefully if you guys are having an issue with um, your milly buds, go and get that Be Safe three-in-one garden spray and utilize it. I can't really tell you if it's been helping a lot. I think now I'm gonna pay attention even more. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm so glad that you're keeping up with me in this video, cause it's kind of all over the place. But I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these little rosettes that you see right here. See how they already have some root kind of roots? That is so cute. And I am going to start, I already filled this pot up with a um, with lots of this um, succulent, citrus, palm, um, soil that I usually typically use. So I already filled it up because I knew I was going to do this and I wanted it to be on the top. I don't want them to be buried deep, okay? And I'm so excited to do this because I feel like it's gonna be so cute in this pot once they start really, really um, like filling out. 
So I'm just gonna go like kind of everywhere. Okay, I'm not gonna do them too close together because I do want them to have room to like stretch out. I'm kind of excited to see the progress, progress along the way. Look at how cute that little rosette is. I'm also going to treat to treat this with um, some like pesticide um, like treatment stuff. So that way um, it doesn't get any kind of milly bugs while they're trying to like grow, you know? Just don't want that to happen. I probably should have done this a long time ago, but you know, hey, I'm doing it now, guys. I'm doing it now. I'm so surprised these things have like lasted. I mean, my cat has demolished these. They have been, it has like totally been through some stuff and these things have survived. So let's see. And then I'm gonna put it in the front yard because while it's still raining, um, I think the minerals from the rainwater will definitely do good. Um, with it. If you go too close, it's gonna be blurry. It's not blurry. It's not, okay, good. No, it's fine. Nevaeh's on the other side of the camera. Hi. She's recording for me. Sometimes I'll move and I won't even know, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so that's she's fine. helping me out. So that way you guys, it can get a closer up view. Cause I'm in the kitchen again. Cause I'm evening potting. Look at how cute those are. Beautiful. So I'm evening potting the last few days because of all the rain coming through. Ask me some questions, Nevaeh, about um, what, anything. Your job? Or? No. Well, I don't want to talk about my work. But... No, your job. Your, what you're doing now. Your oh, job. Oh, hobby. My hobby. You can ask me. No, just ask me things, whatever. Why do you like potting? Oh, okay. I like potting because I... I feel like it's like relaxing. That's probably like the mo like the number one reason why. Okay, next question. That's good. Like keep them to this. Yeah, this um, is a good subject. What's your favorite succulent? Um, hmm, I have so many. Echeverias of any kind, just because they. I love how they look like they're roses, but they're really not. Um, but I love a good zebra aloe. And, um, yeah, yeah, there's just so many. What's your favorite tool to use? The same, okay, this, which is a back scratcher. Favorite tool. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite tools. Back scratcher, guys. But I don't use it for a back scratcher. No, that's kind of gross. <laughs> you get hookworm on your back. What? You get hookworm from your Ew. back. Ew, you mean See, what should I ask you? I don't know. <laughs> do you like watching me do this? Because this is something new too within the last couple, <laughs> few years. Well, the last few years, oh, couple years. Couple year, two years. Yeah, you saw me get into this? Yeah. First, it was just home, talking about life and yeah, but now... Do you like seeing me? Yeah. With, with like... No offense, but potting is, like... Like, <laughs> stuff like this is kind of boring to me. <laughs> yeah, you think, like... It's boring because I'm a kid and I don't get it, so... Oh, no? Yeah. I guess it's a hobby you like. Well, some kids might like it. Who knows? Just not your thing? Or sometimes you like to plant fairy gardens with me. Yeah, but that's different. You do the planting and I do the decorating. That's true. 
That is true, my dear. That is true. What's your, what, why do you, what kind of second ones are these? You know what? This is like a, like a death ground right here. Like it's <laughs> not pretty at all, <laughs> but they will be. Yeah. Grow. It was, Grow. it did have a system. All of the like leaves when I was propagating line they were all lined up but yeah but now your cat got into it yeah my cat likes to curiosity okay people curiosity <laughs> like she's moving the dirt around let's see what i can find yeah man it's like she's digging for bones people not cool digging for bones look at those moist hands the moist, <laughs> moist hands, hands. <laughs> so weird moist hands people moist hands you gotta keep the baby soft hands Ooh, I don't have baby soft hands. So I'm gonna cut this part off. <gasps> Ew. What? Mm. Ew, because it has Millie bugs in it. And... Millie bugs are not nice. They're not good. They're so annoying. Like what's, I'm gonna treat what's this, the though. problem? Like what, why do or why are they there? I don't know what what's their I, adaptation. Well, here's the deal. I just want to know what their positive. What do they purpose, adapt to? What their positive purpose in life is? They live on it and eat it. Huh? Do they like live on it? No, I just I don't know what they do. I have no clue what they do in a positive anything. If there's anything positive about what they do that one's here pretty. on That one's pretty. Yeah, there goes another one. Another one. Oh, look it. Isn't that like so cute? Okay. You moved it so fast they didn't even oh. see it. Do you see that? Too cute. Too cute. So I'm gonna just bury the whole leaf. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to take a chance of it snapping off. That... And this doesn't have to look pretty, doesn't it? It doesn't have to. No, I just want to put them in here so that they can... I, they're I, safe. They're safe, but they have more... There's a millie bug on it. I can see it crawling. No, that... Where? Not this. All over. I see... Where? Both. Look, do you not see that? What? No, that is a pumice. <laughs> no, there, uh, there's a bug right there. Where? Right there by my elf. Oh, my God. Oh, those? Yes. What are those? Bugs. Because it's, it's a cookie sheet. It's a cookie pan. We had to be curiosity. Oh well, gosh, we, had to we had to use what we had to use, people, because it was like the beginning of what... Her planting had started. <laughs> and so I improvised. She improvised with a cookie pan that we could have used. Well, you know, you gotta be, you gotta use what you gotta use. Resources, people, resources. Yes, we used our, our resources, our only resources. Your eyelashes are pretty. My eyelashes? <laughs> I hope you're not getting my face. I'm not. Makeup on. I'm not. She's pretty, guys. She's pretty. Yeah. So are you. Because you get it from your mama. <laughs> okay. Let's be serious. Be this serious. is potting is serious business. No, it's not. That's serious what makes it so fun. Business. That's what makes that it so one. fun. Okay. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I like how you're. Okay. Okay. Talk about your planting business. Well, well, it's not a business. It's just like a hobby. Yeah, it's just a hobby. Like, it's... talk about your hobby. How did it start? Dum dum. It started when I felt like I wanted to be creative and do something that I never did before, or I didn't think I was good at. I never thought that I had like I was good at potting or planting or yard stuff I thought that was just your dad's thing so then when I started getting into this I realized 
that it's something I really do like doing and I am kind of good at it. It doesn't, I mean, of course I spend time trying to learn stuff, so. I think yeah. anything you're gonna be good at takes practice. You gotta adapt to what you're doing to know how you gotta do it. Yeah, that's true. I think. can't keep my eyes on that one that looks like like a, an actual flower. Uh-huh. Look at a little tiny woody. <laughs> What's a woody? I said a tiny woody looty. Nothing, I just made it up. <laughs> it came out of my mouth. That's what, that's what parents do to babies. Anyways, okay, so. Get, get back on topic. Yeah, I think... It's doing good. I'm having a lot of room. I'm almost towards the end here of all of these succulents. I think that's it, but there could be some more. You never know. They could be buried. Oh, I see one. You'll see it too. Okay, hold on. Thanks. Oh, shoot. Thanks for recording. You're welcome. It might be not that good. Where did you see? Right there. Oh, look at this one. It's starting. Okay, There's one. one right there. We'll put this leaf right there. There's one Where? right there. Right there. This one? No, not that one. Oh, this one? No. Oh, what? Where? I can't put the camera down to show you. Okay, hold on. Want me to stop again? No, it's okay. Hold on. This one right there. The left. Your left. You mean your right? My right, your left. Okay. No, in the corner, in the top corner. No, over there. This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a good one. I don't, I hope I'm doing good of a job because I don't, I don't know. Well, we'll find out when everyone's all like, oh good. my gosh, that camera lady made me sick. <laughs> she moved the camera away. Good thing went. there's such thing as like editing, so <laughs> that's that's a good part. There is some things that editing just can't do, Gilbert. Look at it. It's like a graveyard happened over here, people. But this is what we should be looking at. This is pretty. This is the life of Mother Nature. <laughs> what it will produce when it's all over. Ain't God good? Mm-hmm. All the time. Okay, ready? Got that. So. So. Maybe when you're older, you'll be able to do this with your daughter. Maybe. Maybe there's not such thing as plants when I'm older. What you you never know. They, they could, they could, like... They don't, they can disappear. No. Like, what if someone went to every country in the whole entire world, like the whole entire universe, and took all the plants? Took all the plants. Well, that would be sad. I don't want to live in a universe where everyone takes all the plants. All the succulents. Okay, do you see any more over here? Well... <laughs> In the graveyard. <laughs> I don't see anything in. Oh, that's a good. Okay. What one? Oh, there's one right over there. Where? Keep going. Put your hand back. Oh, right. No, right there. Well, no. Nah. I only got the ones that look really viable. Okay. So oh, this. That, wait, well, no, go, go. I'm going to. Look at this. It's it's a masterpiece. Look as my mom created. Get a moment. Okay. Look at it. So now that we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it a little bit, like with some treatment, and then I'm gonna leave it in the front yard and let the natural rainwater hit it. So until the next video, guys, stay tuned. God bless. Bye.